Hayyemem Shlishi. Today is Tuesday. It's Chov Zayin. Zach. Zach Iyod. That's what we're holding in the world. Chov Zayin Iyod. Iyod means to be a chariot for the Eberster. Because Iyod stands for Avraham Mitzagank Evrochel, which is the Merkava. So Zach Iyod means that the chariot is pure. Well, imagine anybody who's a chariot for the Eberster is pure. Now, um... I am going to cheat you out of two lines. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to read two lines from the previous page. You do not have the previous page. Because I just feel like I'd rather read two lines and confuse people at which page we're on, okay? So, the very bottom page 255, which you do not have, it's the end of the Fabreng. And as I mentioned to you a number of times, this Fabrengin was longer than the typical Shabbos Mavarchim Fabrengin. It was the first Shabbos after Pesach. And the Fabrengin was quite long. There were many Sikhs. And the Rebbe spoke a lot of different ideas, all related to the Maimed. All the Sikhs that follow the Maimed are more or less connected to the Maimed. But bringing out the ideas of the Maimed in a Sikha form, in a Sikha relevance. So here's a Sikha about going to speak in the shuls. And I'm reading inside. I'll tell you when to look inside, okay? Here are present Bokhrim. Shehechrim Udaba Batik Nesesis. I can't say, no speak in shuls. In the early years of the Rebbe's Nesias, the biggest shturim of the Rebbe was Chazar Chsidis, was to say over Chsidis in the shuls. And from the very, very beginning, it was a very big deal by the Rebbe. Because the earliest kuf of the Rebbe's Nesias was really about being of people to Hasidus who were already from. But the original uh, undertaking, endeavor of the Rebbe was Yafutzam and Asach HaChutzah. He was always involved in being of Yidin who were not from to Yiddishkeit. But in the very early years of the Nasius, one of the most serious campaigns of being Makadav from this, they go, Chazak Hasidus and Shuls. And those days, they would, years, they would literally go to a shul and Chazar HaMaim, they come to a shul and say a Maim from beginning to end as it's written and so on. So the Rebbe says, when you go to Chazach Siddhas and Shuls, Yim Suru Sham, as Teichan Inyan Hamadubal Il Sif I want you to repeat what we discussed earlier in the Fabreng, the Rebbe says, for the Gale and Meakai, it's about the summer. The Rebbe spoke before about the significance of the summer and what it means. And I'm reading on page 256. Now, this you already have. Kisha Adam Meniach Laatzme Lishkeya. When a person permits himself to become immersed, Lost vicharay lets himself in. Bechamro de parguso maya de yumsus in this special wine and this special water that's all about relaxation and pampering the goof. Noch given them goof. So the time, of course, says it's not an aveda. There's nothing wrong with a person who works very very hard, going on a vacation and as they say, slowing down, allowing themselves to relax. And I don't think the Rebbe necessarily objects to the idea per se. But it's a very risky thing because when people allow us to relax, the relaxation defines them. So the Rebbe said, Matsinu Shadova Paul Afilu Ara Blazabin Arach. Rebbe Arach is considered the greatest of the Talmudim of Rabbi Yechen and Ben Zakai. The greatest. The Mishnah Zan Pichyavis, he was equal to all the other Chachamim combined, including Rebbe Ben Hurkinus, the Mishnah Ben Chananya. And the Gemara says that even he, he went to relax and he enjoyed the relaxation very, very much and he became mellow, as they say. Hey, what's wrong with mellow? Mellow, you don't scream at anybody, but fashlafen, not energetic, not sharp, not locked in. And as the Rebbe said in that Sikha, which we learned about summer earlier, that instead of saying, Hachoy Desh, he said, One yud was moved from a dalit to a chaf. So instead of a chaydesh, it became a chaydesh. Instead of a new month, it became deaf. And instead of lochem, which means you became libam, the heart became numb, became deaf. Meaning to say that spiritually, he was set back considerably because he allowed himself to relax. Says Of course, I agree. The people must guard their health. It's one of the methods 
of serving the Abishta, the Rebbe adds the word Avoidas. It doesn't say a most prince of Rambam. This is one of those corrections. The Rebbe adds the word to the text of Rambam. I know of two cases where the Rebbe added a word to a Rambam, and this is one of them. That it's Vidak Yavitz Hashem, that it's serving Hashem requires health. Yes, be very careful not to allow it become sunk in it more than the measure. Which means you have to be careful not to allow it to slow you down. A person has to relax. A person must periodically. The only person who doesn't have to relax, or in fact did not relax, was the man doing the talking right here, the Rebbe himself. But people need to stop and start. It's very healthy. It's mamish. It helps the future avoider. But if you get drawn into the relaxation, you become a relaxer. And you become fashlafu. And that's not good. Or beflat vizman akayit, especially during the summer month, we all know that the summertime, this season, is a wonderful time naturally. But the, f- the fact that it's a wonderful time naturally means that Teva is predominant and the Nishom and the Ruchni is, uh, so to speak, less prominent. So you have to be especially careful. Says the Rebbe, yes, but have to explain to people. The winter time is the time of tests. And of course, the test of the winter, that it's cold and that it's dark and that it's uncomfortable. And spiritually, the winter means the challenges of children. Now comes the summer. Says the Rebbe, the wonderful, warm, beautiful weather in the summertime is also a test. It's a, a pleasant test, but a test nevertheless. I had an opportunity to sit with Rabbi Chaim Sarebransky as a Zuzai in the Rabbi Mitzvah and I asked him I mean whenever you sit with such a Jew you ask him about his relationship with the Rebbe from Australia so he told me that the first time he visited here I believe was Tov Shin Yudchas 1958 he came in he got married here and then he went back and the Rebbe was quite makad of him during that visit and when he went back to Australia the Rebbe told him do a host ashvere not an anger him, which means you have a difficult shlichus, but it's a pleasant one, it's a comfortable one. Chaim Sarebransky was a businessman, but he worked beside his father, the Talmud Sarebransky, who was a chassidah shirid, to build the Moises Chabad in Australia. They would bring Rabbi Groner a few years later, and as they say in the real world, the rest is history. So Rebbe says, you're far, far away. I mean, how often did they come from Australia to the Rebbe? How often did they even think about coming from the Rebbe to Australia in those years? So he says, it's a difficult shlichus because it's challenging beruchnias, but it's comfortable. In other words, shlichus could be a lot harder than living in a comfortable country with a comfortable way of life, with a comfortable standard of living, to have to always remember that you're the Rebbe of Shlich. Sometimes it's a shvere shlichus, it's difficult. It's pleasant. It says, the summer... Is a schwere schliches, not an angenehm. I just thought of this yesterday when I was, the weather was getting a little hot. I thought of that word that the Rebbe told him before he left. So we say on, we should understand that the summer tests are pleasant, but they're actually more difficult than the winter tests because of the tendency to get distracted. But let's be extraordinarily, especially careful. The trees are blossoming. You see the beauty of nature. Acknowledging that Hashem's world is beautiful and perfect. But this beauty, this perfection must be used for holiness. The will made me in the Arab of Edsavite to learn from this lesson in serving Akadish Baruch Hu. And that the lesson should not be to become, as they say in Yiddish, farpechkit. Shekshem shayetzim gedele b'tzmechem as trees grow and sprout. So the lesson has to be kach yesh ligdel l'shav sheil ba'avetas alishem. You have to grow and steig, exceed, grow a lot, and serving Hakadosh Baruch Hu. The Kaomer says the Rebbe yesh daber al dvar iyan zem beisak nesses. You should go to the shuls where you speak chassidus and severs. Says the Rebbe, "Efshel lahoysef and yonam neisafim." You could say other words. Shadei mitiven shuhu habdei ber edes. There's rogev since whichever bocher it is, is going to whichever shul he's going, and he's speaking all of adabe besigne and shalei. You can say it in your own words. Of bocholeif and biyad that as it may, yes, adabe al dvar teichin. Inyan hanal. Speak about this idea, and you should know this is. A, it's a, you have to be a chassid, not to be nispal for neilam hazer. I'm not talking about the Dvar Masurim and the things you're not allowed to do. Push it. 
the, you know, the comforts of life, the balabatesha life, if the Abishta helps and you're blessed and everything is the way it's supposed to be, Bagashmias, it is in and of itself a Nisoyan. And you have to, you have to, when you tell somebody else about such a Nisoyan, you have to be able to say that you in your own.